What it do ski YouTube, hope all is well. I know we've been inside for what seems like forever, at least over here. And honestly, I've been on the internet more than ever, whether it be shopping, some of my friends are online dating, looking at travels that we can't go to, <laughs> you know, usual stuff. With that being said, I want to give a quick shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Hushed. Hushed is an application that allows you to get a second line on your phone that can be used worldwide. This involves sending private calls, sending text, picture messaging, and managing contacts, all within the ease of one integrated application available for iOS and Android. My favorite part about Hushed is the flexibility and privacy it provides you in a number of situations you probably deal with on a daily basis. For me, it's mostly dealing with like buying and selling stuff online, but it could definitely help with working from home, business, for those of you doing online dating, if you don't wanna give out your real number and just wanna burn your number in case the date goes bad, this is definitely a good app to look for, as well as travel. So if anything I just said was of interest to you, or you're simply just looking to get some more privacy because everything's digital right now, that's great. Because Hush is actually hooking up you guys with a lifetime subscription for $25. And I don't know about you, but I can't tell you the last time I got something on sale for 83% off, in all honesty. I know, $25, that's crazy. All you gotta do, Malcolm25, use that code, and you can get a Hush subscription for the rest of your life. What that $25 gives you is a thousand minutes and 6,000 text messages, including picture messages per year that you can pretty much use throughout Canada, US and a couple of places around the world. So I think it's a great deal. You may not be able to travel now, but you can call relatives. You can online shop in foreign lands like I do to find steals and do pretty much what you want. So if you're interested in that additional level of privacy and that peace of mind, please make sure to check the link in the description below and use the code Malcolm25 to get started. I don't know if you guys are in the same situation as me, but in my city, it's definitely brick weather outside right now, which means more layers, sweaters, and obviously coats leading me to make this video today. I really just wanted to go over the top five coats that anybody should have in their wardrobe and how to style them. I chose these coats specifically for two reasons. First of which being how versatile they are. And secondly, being that as long as you get the correct silhouette and overall proportions, it really doesn't matter what brand you get them from, in my opinion, because they'll still look dope, whether it's super expensive or if it, even if it's thrifted. In terms of sizing, myself, I'm six foot. I know I look like I'm 5'2 in all my Instagram pictures, but I'm a little bit taller than that, and I weigh about 205 pounds. So I'm low-key kind of deezed, you know? So, first things first, if you're a cozy boy like me, you probably already have a jacket similar to this in your rotation, specifically on those colder days where it's not quite winter, but it is cold outside. Obviously, it's a fleece. Myself, I opted for one from This Is Never That, a brand out of Korea, in this ivory colorway. And I think it's super refreshing, specifically in the colder months. For something like this that's functional and stylish, a lighter color will definitely elevate your outfit. In terms of features, this fleece comes with three pockets, two of which being right above the waist, as you would expect. And the third one, and honestly my favorite one, being on the left side of the chest. With the This Is Never That branding, this is where I keep my phone or a cookie if I'm on road. And they also have the This Is Never That branding on the back of the neck, which is a roll collar. I opt to keep it up because of the fleece on the inside. Since I have a beard, we have the fleece at the bottom, my beard at the top. It's like an impenetrable wind layer. So fine. Most importantly for the colorway, I would suggest going one or two ways. You can go similar to me and get kind of like that aged white look. And if you're not gonna get that, I would highly suggest getting an olive or a forest green. Those two colors specifically, I find are the best tones for fall. Yeah, sure, black is safe and easy to wear, but it kind of just drowns out your outfit sometimes. So having one of those two colors in this textured material will definitely make your outfit pop. As I was saying at the start of this video, the brands don't necessarily matter, but I would definitely suggest checking out Uniqlo for some affordable options. Patagonia makes these in the dozens, a bunch of crazy patterns. And even this is ever that, if that's what you're into and you like the fit of what I have, I'll leave a bunch of links right below of what I have and alternatives to. The second jacket is probably going to be the most common among people you actually know and you may already have it yourself. Talking about the Sherpa lined denim jacket. I'm assuming the first brand that comes to your mind when you see this is probably Levi's which is great because they create a whole bunch of these in a bunch of different colors and materials. Myself I opted for a vintage one that I got from a couple of my homies who hooked it up and the fit is just beautiful. I like to go for more of a crop fit on this because I throw a hoodie underneath, super versatile. And since it is a denim material, denim is one of those things that looks better when it's broken and beaten up and distressed. When you have those distressings, those markings, 
paint splatters, whatever it is, it really makes the jacket you. In terms of features, this jacket also has those two above the waist pockets. And on the chest, there's a pocket on each side this time around. Super versatile in terms of storing things. And at the neck, it also has that fleece or Sherpa material to keep you warm in case you want to button it all the way up. For sizing, I suggest sizing a size up on a jacket like this, just so you can layer and put a hoodie underneath, but it will also be snug enough where you can wear it without one. In terms of colors, since it is denim, there is a bunch of options. You can't really go wrong whether you go with like a light indigo such as I have, black denim, or even that tan slash caramel color denim that you don't see that often. For the third jacket, it's my personal favorite, which is the varsity jacket. I actually have four of these now that I think about it. Two in black and two in navy blue, which makes me think. I honestly don't even take my own advice sometimes, so take what I say with a grain of salt. There's a bunch of styles and a bunch of variations on them, and there are a few key things that I personally look for while searching for one. First thing would be the materials, whether it's a full wool upper, opting for leather on the sleeves instead maybe, or even if that's not your style, there's also a bunch of satin options. I like those specifically on the darker colors because it adds like that element of texture to your looks. And I think it just looks sick. Second to that, I would definitely say designs. And I mean stuff on the chest, stuff on the back, patches, things on the sleeves. As you can see from my collection of jackets, it, they all have one or the other or a mix of both. Sizing, I would say always try to size up so you can wear something underneath. They do make a cool summer piece too, but I find jackets like this definitely get in my rotation more in the winter. Fourth jacket is for all the aspiring Instagram influencers out there. And if you're into that type of look or aesthetic, you probably have this one. It's that workwear jacket that everybody's been wearing lately, specifically from Carhartt. I got mine thrifted and I love it. I like this jacket because of the structured collar and the fact that it's one of those that you can really just throw on without thinking. Like, you know when you're on a rush out the door and you're thinking about your outfit because you want to look nice, but you're also going to the grocery store. This is the jacket for that. You're still going to look clean, but it's not really overdoing it because it's so simple. In terms of features, all it really has is a few interior pockets as most jackets should. This would be one of the times where I would actually opt for a darker color such as a black, a slate gray, or even that nice workwear tan colorway. Some brands I would look into this for something similar would be Carhartt or Carhartt Work in Progress, which is more streamlined and more actually fashion forward. More Minimal LA has a cool take on it too, even though they kind of pull from everything else. They do have a nice silhouette there in a tan colorway. For the fifth and final jacket, we have the bomber jacket. In full transparency, out of all the jackets I've listed thus far, this one definitely gets the least amount of wear from me. But due to the overall design and kind of heritage and how wearable it is, there's no way it wouldn't make it on the list. In terms of materials, they usually come in ripstop, nylon, and sometimes even wool or leather. But I would opt for the ripstop or nylon just to have a better aesthetic. Standout features would be the zip pocket on the sleeve, the hidden interior pockets, as well as the usual side pockets. It does tend to have a scrunched or elasticated bottom to really cinch things in. In terms of the fit, I always opt for the crop or boxier ones because they give up a more bulky aesthetic, which is great in the wintertime, especially if you're gonna layer. These jackets do tend to run slim, believe it or not. So I would suggest sizing up if you plan to layer underneath it. I always opt for a hoodie. That way you can get more comfortable overall. And if it gets too hot outside or if you're out and you need to take a layer off, it's no stress. So I would say opt for olive green would be great, but black, or even maroon you can never go wrong with. I can promise you that almost every brand has their own iteration for the bomber jacket. So with that being said, I want to point you in the right direction. I would say take a look at pieces from John Elliott, Stamped LA, and most importantly, Alpha Industries, who's been specializing in it for many, many years. They are definitely on the right path in terms of a good fit and colors. That's about it. As you know, fall is in full effect now, and unfortunately, winter's around the corner. So having one of these jackets in your rotation is a must. But I'm interested to know, what was your favorite from the five today? And do you think there's any jacket that I'm missing up there? Or if you have any suggestions, I would love to hear it. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, as per usual, make sure to smash that like button with your pinky finger. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.